What's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about whether or not I believe Lucid Motors is a good buy. We're going to be going over an analysis on my opinion of this. So make sure you stay tuned for the entire video. Thank you so much for clicking by. If you enjoy growth stock investing and just stock market investing in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Turn on those post notifications as well and leave a comment with your thoughts on Lucid are. But enough of that talk, let's get into this video. So Lucid right now, ticker LCID, trading for $42.22 a share. The technical analysis is, it's pretty solid. The RSI, it's fair value. It's exactly at 52. And then looking at the MACD, we are catching some momentum, which is pretty solid. And over the past few days, we've been uptrending, going from about 34 all the way back up to 47. And now we're back to 42 looking pretty good, trading in the middle of their lines of support and resistance. So we'll have to see how this works out, I guess, in that sense. But let's go ahead and talk about how Lucid has really performed. They're up 136% over the past year. Over the past three months, they're up 77%. In the past month, they're up 6%. So everything is pretty green right now. They are a newer company, so this is going to come with a lot of risk because they currently have a market cap of roughly 69 and a half billion dollars now if we go look into some more things one year target estimate is about 42 dollars and 75 cents on lucid and looking at some more analysis the overall recommendation and thesis on this sentiment is 2.2 giving it a buy not a strong buy but in the middle of buy and hold we'll see how some other price targets are looking at right now on tip ranks the price targets are three hold two buy with one sell Average price target giving a 2.4% downside, but it's very volatile and these price targets are going to be very controversial because some people are saying it's high risk, high reward, and some people are just saying it's too overvalued and it's too risky. Now let's go ahead and talk about why people are talking like this. This is who Lucid is in case you don't know. What they do is they sell electric vehicles. They're just like Tesla. However, they have really not started to make any significant, significant revenue. If we go look right here in the current year of 2021, they made $66.5 million, okay? That was the estimates. And then the current, now in 2022, they're looking to make $2.02 billion. That's a big increase. It's 2,935%. Now, that those growth rates are not sustainable, but still, all that matters is that they're making more money right now. So $2 billion in revenue, and looking at their current market cap of roughly $69 billion, that's pretty solid, $69.5 billion to be exact. That's okay, especially for a growth stock. However, you got to keep in mind that the Fed is raising interest rates, so these growth stocks are going to perform slower than they have been over the past two years just because of how low interest rates have actually gotten, and it made a complete bull run in the stock market, especially for growth stocks. But looking on some more things about Lucid, their quarterly revenue growth year over year did decrease by 30%, and their EBITDA, they are just draining money left and right, negative 1.1% negative 1.21 billion dollars with only five percent short shares outstanding it says however on Mar seeking alpha it's telling us they have 15.8 percent short shares outstanding then their total cash they are sitting pretty nice right now they have 4.8 billion which i like to see that showing that they have cash especially on a riskier investment you could say they have roughly 216 million dollars in debt right now and looking on some seeking alpha grades they're kind of rated in that buy to hold ratio, about a 3.6, 3.5 is the average rating. Looking on to their investor presentation, let's go ahead and talk about some key things that Lucid is telling us. So their reservations for as of September 30th for vehicles was greater than 13,000. And in just a two week or in just a month and a half period to November 15th, it got up to greater than 17,000. They have over $1.3 billion in estimated bookings, which is really, really so solid. Now looking on some more things, they have roughly their new plant in Arizona has a production capacity of 34,000 vehicles per year. That would be a lot, a lot of money that this could generate for the company. Now Lucid's, they have these new kind of factories and it's almost like the Tesla stores, but it is very good for customer service and just showing off their vehicles because I mean you can't lie these vehicles are are very nice very attractive really good looking cars so having these physically placed and letting potential customers and consumers 
see the actual vehicle for themselves could bring in a lot of demand. And they also have the expansion to Canada, which was in the fourth quarter of 2021. They're looking to get in the European and Middle East and Asia in 2022, and then China in 2023. So they definitely have a good forecast in the next few years. And I was looking at their financial highlights on some key things. Their total liabilities, all that stuff. Total assets has increased, and that means liabilities are going to increase as well. The liabilities did increase, though, to $1.2 billion. Assets, they're still sitting on a lot more assets and liabilities, so they are in a decent financial standing in that sense. However, their net loss is just increasing. Their free cash flow is decreasing. So that's not a good thing you want to see. You want to see these numbers decreasing, and then when they get profitable, you want to see them increasing. But that's their financial statements. Looking on Morningstar, they're giving Lucid a 7% discount, giving them a fair value of $45. Now, this is not from an actual analyst. This is from somebody, this is from like machines and kind of taking technical factors and looking at it in that sense. And they're saying, hey, Lucid should be at a $45, 41 cent price. And that's the average sentiment right there. What are institutions buying right now? Now, I think this might be a little skewed. It says 1.07 billion bought compared to only 41.6 thousand sold. We can just see there are some really big holders, though. For example, we got Bank of New York Mellon Corp., who owns $13.5 million. That's a big holding, especially a big bank like that, holding into a risky position like this. Bluecrest with $26.5 million. Alberta with $4.95 million. Morgan Stanley with $33.7 million. So they are definitely have some conviction if you're putting that much money into a single stock, especially such a risky one. And so my overall consensus is I am not buying it on Lucid at the current time. And I'm not saying it's a bad investment. I'm just saying I would rather invest my money into more. Now, I do own a few growth stocks. I only own three at the current time. But what I am aiming more towards my portfolio is more value investing just because of the way that the economy is leaning towards. And I believe in value stocks will perform far better than growth stocks over the next few years. However, that does not mean I think all growth stocks are terrible. I do think there is potential for multiple stocks out there to still perform incredibly well and make bull runs like we've seen in the past few years. You're just going to have to find those you know, those needles in the haystack because a lot of growth stocks are going to be hit. And they already almost have with the Fed saying, hey, we're going to raise interest rates and different things like that. But everybody, that is what I have for you in this video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications for all future videos. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Leave a comment what you think about this information, what you think about Lucid. I always like to hear your guys' input. And check out my Discord server. Link is in the description below, 100% free. Thank you so much again. I know I keep saying thank you, but uh, I will see you at the next video.